Hi, I'm Tony Levin. I'd like to share with you my King Crimson print collection. This print is titled Robert Fripp, Krakow 2018. It's probably my favorite of all of the pictures of the collection. It's taken at a sound check in Krakow before our concert. And uh, Robert is, as usual, you can see a pen in his left hand. He's making notes and we're practicing. And I, I feel like we really captured really the nature of what Robert is like at the, before the performance. The 2018 incarnation of the band did a lot of touring in Europe, and I uh, was grabbing pictures of all of the seven guys. A lot of photos, a lot of opportunity, especially at Soundcheck. And having done it night after night, or afternoon after afternoon, I got a sense of once in a while, maybe having a chance to capture what somebody's really like and a little bit of what the life is really like. And so I treasure those pictures. And I feel like with this picture of Robert, I really, was lucky and captured something of what it's like to be on the road in Europe in 2018 and to be out with King Crimson. Robert and I go way back. It's 40 years now since uh, we formed the incarnation of King Crimson with the Discipline album, but I had played with them before that. I met Robert in 1976 on the Gabriel, Peter Gabriel record when Peter had first left Genesis, July of 1976, I think it was, and how lucky I am that on that same day I met Robert Fripp and Peter Gabriel, and now after so many years, I'm still making music with them both, and still taking photos of them both. Uh, so we've had a long relationship, musical relationship and friendship, Robert and I, and uh, it's been very special. He's been a big influence on me, of course, from before the King Crimson, before 1981, when I heard him playing with Peter Gabriel, and then got to play on his solo album, Exposure, I learned something of what Robert was like and, and what he brought to the, the field of progressive music and of, of rock. And uh, his unique guitar sound uh, enchanted me and still does. And uh, so it's been a great relationship and I think uh, this little photo is a good example for me of, of, of something that touches my heart about Robert. Interestingly, this was taken because it was 2018. This was taken with a digital camera and the uh, the challenges and the benefits of uh, pictures with that are, are quite different nowadays than they were back in the 80s and the 90s when I was taking pictures with, uh, on film and developing it in a darkroom. Uh, one, the obvious advantage is that I can see how the picture came out, toss it out if I don't like it, uh, focus differently, expose differently, and fix things on the fly. Couldn't do that with film. In fact, it was a big challenge, in, especially in Europe, in the 80s when some of the other pictures were taken in this collection, uh, finding a place to get a 24-hour place, quote unquote, to get the black and white film developed. And they would give me, a, if I was lucky, a contact sheet of maybe the pictures I had taken the last few days. Then I would need a magnifying glass and I would need a, a loop and look at those pictures and find out things like I'm not exposing it right or I'm not focusing right. This is a, a, a thing that was a little harder in those days. And uh, it was pretty fraught. And then in the 90s, when I started to post the pictures online, that was a whole other world. And in the 90s, the way I, uh, it's kind of cute and quaint to, to put a picture on, online on my website. In the 90s, I would take the picture in Europe, wait until I found a 24-hour developer, get the picture. Then I would ship it to my webmaster who lived in uh, Orlando, Florida. He would scan it and he would put it up in the next day. So that would be about two, three weeks after I took the picture, and that we felt that was pretty fast. By the way, the scans, the biggest in those days, I'm talking about 94, 95, the biggest we could put up was 220 pixels wide, which is about like that. So uh, fortunately, I kept the originals because those were pretty useless. Here's a print titled Adrian Ballou, Robert Fripp on Shinkansen, Japan, 1981. The Shinkansen is, of course, the high-speed train that Japan had then and has now. And we were enjoying, on our first trip, that incarnation of King Crimson, our first tour of Japan, we were enjoying a high-speed rail trip, probably from Tokyo to Osaka. It's one of my favorite pictures of, of the guys. I was taking pictures all the time of the band in all kinds of situations, and this one kind of captured something special about being in a foreign country and yet uh, Robert immersed in the English newspaper, and Adrian being Adrian, and uh, it's a pretty special picture to me. 
I like that uh, there's a little blur of the landscape outside, the Japanese landscape. It would have been great to get the Mount Fuji in the background, but I didn't capture that. But I love the blur and, and, and the stillness of the, the character of the way we were feeling at that time. For King Crimson in 1981, Japan was one of the first places we toured and uh, we were feeling very good about our new material, kind of radical new material, and it was a pleasure to bring it to Japan, kind of exciting, and uh, it, you can see from the, the look of the guys on the train, nice chance to relax in between gigs uh, on a long tra trip and, and an, an adventure to a new place. Probably this was going to Osaka, and uh, we enjoyed the tour a lot. We were really forming the way we were as a band at that time, and uh, as usual, I was taking pictures of it all, trying to capture, be lucky and capture in one of them a little bit of the nature of the way it is for us on the road. The Tokyo train station is always very crowded, very active, people moving fast. Everybody knows where they're going except for us, and this was no exception. Huge crowds and crowds uh, that know where, how to line up and how, where on the platform to wait for the train. It's really a trip and uh, uh, an adventure for any band that it was for us, for sure, back in 1981. Every print is signed and numbered and comes with a certificate of authenticity. These are archive quality prints that will last for generations.